briefly mentioned the idea that the universe might be heading heading towards a, a heat death uh, or a big freeze. Like we're not entirely sure how the universe will end, but it seems like what's likely going to happen is that entropy increases, atoms vibrate and bounce around, and after a long enough time, they just become set in this state of equilibrium, complete darkness, atoms equally spread across the universe, and that's just like where it ends. It just remains like that for eternity. Even if, I stress, for those who are already commenting about it, even if we build a spaceship and a wormhole and go to another <laughs> planet, at some point, the whole universe, gone. Yeah. Christian eschatology suggests that at some point in the future, mankind will be, you know, resurrected from the dead and there'll be like the New Jerusalem and all of this kind of stuff. In the popular imagination, people imagine heaven as being this place you go to when you die that's in the spiritual realm, but Christian literature seems to suggest a, a quite physical, embodied, mm. temporal resurrection of the dead, right? And so, if that's the case, firstly, why is it that if scripture talks about people being physically resurrected from the graves and walking around, do people have this idea that when you die you go to heaven and it's like somewhere way up there in the sky? And secondly, what is the New Jerusalem going to do to combat the heat death of the universe? Mm. So this is a this is a big problem and science and religion scholars were thinking about it about 20 years ago and I don't think uh, it's sort of faded out of the discourse a little bit and I'm trying to bring the conversation back. Mm -hmm. So 